Hey, what's up, guys? Jay Sting right here again on the House of Horror for another horror movie review today. Today I've got one uh, film 2012. This is Creep Van, and I was I was kind of interested in this one. Uh, I was kind of skeptical about it. Uh, low budget horror film, and uh, hadn't really heard a whole lot about it. Hadn't heard a whole lot about the people involved, but checked it out. It's on Netflix Instant. If you guys want to uh, want to watch it. And uh, I was actually expecting to be disappointed, but I enjoy the film quite a bit. It's a horror comedy, and it, uh, you know, immediately when the film started, I said, man, that was some cool gore effects. And then I saw uh, the Almost Human uh, productions or, you know, special effects done by Almost Human. And of course, that's uh, uh, Robert Hall's company, and, you know, he always does great work, so... Uh, no surprise there that those the gore effects are awesome in this film. That's that's probably one of the uh, biggest draws to you know those of you that enjoy uh, cool gore effects. But uh, another cool thing in this movie is uh, Lloyd Kaufman has a uh, cameo in there, and and I went and looked. I didn't you know know if he had anything to do with the production or anything, but I don't believe that he does. But has a small role in there, and I know uh, a lot of you guys out there enjoy uh, Lloyd Kaufman, so. I want to check it out for that alone, but um, yeah, basically uh, this film stars Brian, whew, that's a hell of a last name, Brian Cole, Cole, oh, shit, Cole Dissolve, yeah, anyway, it's, uh, uh, and then I'll, <laughs> it also stars Amy Warhill, uh, Gerald Emmerich, and um, it is directed by Scott uh, McKinley, and uh, basically, this film is about this guy who uh, starts off. He's um, he's having trouble finding a job, you know, and, and and basically he narrows this the problem down to not having a vehicle. So he eventually gets a job at a uh, car washing place, and. Uh, you know, washes cars, does a great job, moves up there. The boss likes him a lot. And uh, he, he sees an ad for a van, calls about this van, you know, you know, wants to take a look at it, wants to make a purchase, whatever. And uh, uh, for some reason, the uh, seller of the van, he's this serial killer guy. His van is all rigged up with these uh, devices to kill people. You know, he picks up hitchhikers, you know, various, you know, kills in the movie where he, you know, has a person in his van for one reason or another and, and, you know, uses some sort of trap inside the van to kill him. And, uh, but anyway, the, uh, lead character calls about this, this van for sale and the guy, the uh, seller of the van becomes obsessed and, um, yeah, basically, you know, stalks him and starts killing people in his life. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the ending of the film is really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, this film, it's got some really funny moments in it too, which, you know, I've always said is, is it's hard to do both sides of a horror comedy. Either you overdo one or the other, but I think this film, you know, accomplishes it pretty well. Um, quite a bit of nudity in the film for those of you that enjoy that. Uh, you may want to check that out, but, um, yeah, I, I thought this film was pretty damn good and definitely check it out for a rental. Check it out on Netflix instant. Uh, I was kind of surprised by how how much I enjoyed it, you know, it really held my attention, great, uh, you know, great for a crowd, but yeah, check it out, let me know what you guys think, thanks for watching.